few weeks ago, I got an email from the filmmaker Michael Almereda, <laughs> who I've spoken about a couple of times in this podcast. And I told a story about how this mutual friend had told me that he hated me and had said some unkind things, and I, and but also me promised I wouldn't tell him that this friend had told him that. So I didn't know what to do. So I just, you know, was kind of being passive aggressive. And I told this story, you know, on the podcast. And I knew he would hear about it, or I th assumed he would. And I thought maybe that'd be an opportunity to, to heal it and to talk to him about what happened that I wasn't supposed to talk to him about directly. And Michael's email was, you know, he was, he was hurt. And he was asking me why I've been saying things about him that he's hurt. He said he didn't listen to it because he was scared to, but he had heard that I was trashing him in public. And why was I doing that? And he never said anything bad about me. He doesn't hate me. He's never said he hated me. And he can't imagine who could have told me that and why. You know, what combination of malice or misunderstanding would have led to that? And he was hurt that I didn't just approach him and just say, you know, what's the deal? And he could have explained it and fixed it. And he said, um, I don't expect you to apologize, but I think I would like an apology. And I said, Michael, I'm so sorry. You totally deserve an apology. I, I'm really, really, truly sorry. I feel bad. Um, I didn't know what to do. I really just <laughs> was trying to reach out to you in this other way. And I'm really glad you reached out. And, you know, can I, can I buy you dinner? And can we just like talk about it and, you know, try to heal this? And he wrote back, you know, very sweet email. You know, he's very eloquent and really kind of brilliant and charming. And he said, um, you know, I insist on paying for my dinner. You don't need to pay for it, but I would like to have dinner with you and, 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 and fix this. So we met for dinner. And I didn't tell him who had told me that he had said this thing that he says he never said. And he kept trying to guess. And, you know, he was wrong. He, does, he didn't realize who it was. And I didn't betray my promise to this person, which I felt good about. But I did explain where I was coming from and, and, and why I said what I said. And, you know, I've always admired him as a person and as an artist. And it was just great to be able to, like, talk to him again honestly and freely and not have to hide this, like, thought that, I knew that he didn't know that I knew that I thought was true, but I guess wasn't true. Um, but so anyway, I said, you know, Michael, I know you're very private and I know you don't like me talking about you on the podcast, but can I just, just tell the story of how you reached out to me and we had dinner and, you know, I just want to set the record straight that you never did say that stuff. And, you know, I want, I want, to, I want to rectify it. I want to remedy it. I want to, I want to undo it. And he said, let me think about it. And... Um, Recently, he emailed me and said, okay, fine, you can talk about it if you want. So I just want to say, um, I was wrong. Like what I said was untrue. Um, Michael never said those things. And it was a misunderstanding or whatever falsity that was passed along or misperceived. Um, and we're friends again. And I'm really glad we are because I really, I really enjoy talking to him.